seaweed is so much more than compost. Not only is it stunning, but it's strategic to life on Earth. And there's some Vancouver Island experts and business people who are showing you how sensuous, sumptuous, and sensational seaweed is. many things with it. You eat it. It's a nice crispy little critter to eat. Uh, you can do baskets. You can very nicely when you're in your tub and you have seaweed around and it's soft. Uh, you can wear it. What are these little seaweeds here? Play with it. I'm from France. I love seaweed. Um, I don't think we use it enough here. It's going to come. Everybody's going to Try to use seaweed because it's so good for you and you can also make wonderful necklaces. Now the reason this one is green is yeah. because it's been disturbed and its acids are essentially dissolving itself. Huh. We farm kelp for base materials for pharmaceuticals and cosmetics and also as prime materials for sea vegetables. Uh, the interest in seaweed on this coast is growing considerably. I work with uh, fresh wild seaweeds and I collect in the low tide to provide uh, a variety of seaweeds for chefs and restaurateurs here on Vancouver Island. Vancouver Island prides itself on ecotourism. Uh, it is one of the fastest growing things. Small communities are looking more and more towards ecotourism. Part of that is the pristine nature of our coastline. Small businesses such as myself rely on that image and rely on the fact that that coastline stays uh, clean, stays pristine, and that the products that we can produce from there uh, meets the highest standards possible. If you don't collect the seaweeds in a proper manner, that is if you uh, don't remove parts of the plant, leaving the potential for growth and reproduction behind, then you actually remove that plant's ability to replace itself. So this is called Alaria, or the winged kelp. The plant is used as a sea vegetable, and uh, by law, we have to harvest it about this far above the base. That's about maybe 20 centimeters or almost a foot. That leaves this portion down here, which has all the growth potential. So the growth will take place here. After we've harvested, this blade will grow back and replace itself. Also, by harvesting it here, you can see we don't interrupt the reproductive process. The bull kelp, Nereocystis. Uh, this is about as cute as it gets. It is probably the fastest growing plant on the planet. This plant, which started to grow in probably about January, i.e. it was about two or three millimeters long then, can reach up to 34 meters in length, and it attains that length in less than 200 days growth. So this is, it's an amazing, amazing plant, and it has many, many wonderful and fun uses. Yeah, work with gravity. Okay. Ready? I study the evolution of kelp. This is my scientific endeavor. I want to know the origin of kelp. We have been totally unable to determine where kelp came from. It is not a plant. It is not an animal. It fits closest to what they call proteist. These are amoeba, little slimy things. So there's all this, this whole kingdom called the proteist, which are mostly pathogens and just ugly little things. And amongst them is this gigantic thing we call kelp. The world's smallest kelp. <laughs> now that we've gathered the seaweed, we're off to the spa.